dear students welcome to this session in this session we are going to see how to convert a quadratic form into canonical form let us see the steps one by one step one step one we have to find the real symmetric matrix from the given quadratic form x transpose ax if you didn't watch the previous video you go back to the playlist and watch how to find the matrix from the quadratic form step 2 once you found the matrix a we have to find the characteristic equation and eigen values of a similarly you can go and watch how to use the calculator and find the eigen values in a very easy way and then you can come back to this video step 3 we are going to find the eigen vectors corresponding to the eigen value which we found from the symmetric matrix a so your eigen vectors may be repeated or your eigen vector may be non repeated for non repeated and repeated watch the following videos in the playlist so that you have a clear idea to proceed in this problem step 4 we have to construct the modal matrix from the eigen values and you are going to make the table step 5 we have to construct the normalized modal matrix from the table and its transpose step 6 n transpose a into n and we are going to find the diagonal matrix d from this and finally y transpose d y will give us the canonical form which we required let us go into an example problem step 1 we have to find the real symmetric matrix a from the given quadratic form x transpose ax let us consider x is equal to x1 x2 x3 and their transpose from this we are going to find the matrix we know the positions 1 1 x1 square means 2 2 3 3 1 2 2 3 1 3 now we can easily construct the matrix from the information given in the question so the diagonal position the coefficients are 1 5 1 remaining all the coefficients we have divide by 2 and you have to write the answer since it is a symmetric matrix 1 2 position 2 1 position 1 3 3 1 2 3 3 2 are same so 1 2 we have coefficient 2 so i'll write 1 1 1 3 i have coefficient 6 i'll be writing 3 3 and 2 3 we have coefficient 2 i'm going to write 1 1 so this is my corresponding symmetric matrix mm -hmm. next step 2 next we have to find the characteristic equation and eigen values from the given matrix so to find the characteristic equation we know we need to find s1 s2 s3 s1 is nothing but sum of the leading diagonal elements so 1 5 1 and my s2 is minor of the leading diagonal elements so we know how to find this 2 cross 2 determinant similarly s3 is going to be determinant of a so we can easily find s1 s2 and s3 and we'll be finding the cubic equation now substitute this values in the characteristic equation we'll be getting lambda cube minus 7 lambda square plus 0 lambda here it is minus 6 so minus into minus plus plus 36 that is equal to 0 now use your calculator to find the eigen values the eigen values are minus 2 3 6 your calculator will show 6 minus 2 3 you can take in any order order doesn't matter you can even write 3 minus 2 6 or 6 3 minus 2 so you can write in any order so we found the eigen values before going to the next step it is very important you have to check whether your eigen values are correct or incorrect we can use the property sum of the eigen values will give you s1 minus 2 plus 3 plus 6 will give you 7 then product of the eigen values will give you s3 or determinant of a here the eigen values are minus 2 3 6 when you product this you will be getting minus 36 that is equal to my s3 so sum is 7 product is minus 36 it is satisfying both the condition therefore the eigen values what we found is minus 2 3 6 or to be 100% correct we will proceed for the next step step 3 we have to find the eigen vectors corresponding to the eigen values we know how to find the eigen vector a minus lambda i into x will give you the simultaneous equations from this we can find the eigen vectors rewriting this and consider the equation 1 now substitute the eigen values 1 by 1 first lambda equal to minus 
then 3, then 6. In this equation, we are going to find the eigenvectors one by one. When you put lambda equal to minus 2, minus into minus plus. If you have negative, you are going to add here. If you have positive, you are going to subtract here. So, lambda equal to minus 2. So, this is going to be 3, 5 plus 2, 7, 3. So, I am going to write the equation like this. Now, we have to choose the easiest equation from this. Then, the second rule, you have to choose two equations such that they are not equal. You see, first and third equations are the same. So, I should not choose first and third. So, I will choose 1 and 2. And what is our code? 2, 3, 1, 2. So, the corresponding coefficients for equation 1 is x2 coefficient is 1, 3, 3, 1. When you go for the second equation, 7, 1, 1, 7. Next, we have to find x1, x2, x3 from this. So, finding the determinant of this will give you 1 minus 21, 3 minus 3, 21 minus 1. So, this is my eigen vector. Since it is eigen vector, for the first eigen value, I am considering it as capital X1. 1, 0, minus 1. Either you can write like this or minus 1, 0, 1. Both are correct. Next, take lambda equal to 3. So, if it is plus 3, subtract here, we will be getting minus 2, 3, minus 2. Write the equations and then you take two equations such that they are not equal and the simplest equations. Here, I am going to consider this first two equations and I am going to use the code 2, 3, 1, 2. So, the first equation coefficients are 1, 3, minus 2, 1 and the second equation coefficient is 2, 1, 1, 2. Now, let us find the Eigen vectors. Find the determinant of this will give you 1 minus 6, 3 minus of minus 2, 3 plus 2, and then minus 4 minus 1. So, this will give you x1 by minus 5, x2 by 5, x3 by minus 5. So, I can take minus 5 in common. I'll write the Eigen vector as a simple one. 1 minus 1, 1. Or if you write minus 1, 1, minus 1, that is also correct. This contains only one negative value. So, I am preferring this. This is my x2. Similarly, you take lambda equal to 6, the third eigenvalue, substitute here. So, I am going to subtract here minus 5, minus 1, minus 5. When you write this equation, you can take any two simple equations. I am going to take the second and third and my code is 2, 3, 1, 2. For the equation, the coefficients if I write minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1. And for the third equation, the coefficients are 1, minus 5, 3, 1. Now, we have to find the Eigen vector. So, the determinant will give you 5 minus 1 and here it will give you 3 minus half minus plus 5, then 1 minus half minus plus 3. So, my x1 is going to be 4 for x2, 8, x3, 4. So, I will take the simplest eigenvector as 1, 2, 1. This is my eigenvector. Step 4, we have to construct the model matrix. A model matrix, it is very simple. First column write x1, second column write x2, third column write x3. We will be getting the model matrix. Next, we have to verify our eigenvectors are correct. We know if the matrix is symmetric, all the eigenvectors are orthogonal to each other. So, we will be taking this 2 and we will be checking. So, 1 into 1, 0 into minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1. So, we will be getting 1 minus 1, 0. Similarly, you have to go for this 1 into 1, 1 into minus 2, 1 into 1, we are going to get 0. Next, you take the first and third vectors 1 into 1 plus 0 minus 1, this is also 0. So, we get all the three eigenvectors are orthogonal to each other. That means my eigenvectors are correct. So, next we have to proceed to find the table. In the table, I am going to write eigenvalues, eigenvectors and then normalized eigenvectors. How to find the normalized eigenvector? If suppose x is your eigenvector a, b, c. Now, we have to find a square plus b square plus c square and then divide this in each element of this eigenvector will get the normal eigenvector. So, it is going to be very easy. Now, let us construct the table. First, we have to write the eigenvalue that is minus 2, then eigenvector. Now, I have to find the normalized eigenvector for this. So, for this problem, 1 square is 1 plus 0 plus 1 square. Don't write all the steps. 
you can directly calculate in the rough page and you can write the n1 so my n1 my denominator is going to be 1 plus 1 2 so 1 by root 2 0 minus 1 by root 2 similarly the next eigen value is 3 and the eigen vector is 1 minus 1 1 that means the denominator goes root 3 so my n2 is going to be 1 by root 3 minus 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3 similarly when lambda equal to 6 my coefficients of the eigen vectors are 1 2 1 so n3 i can easily construct the denominator is going to be root 6 n3 is going to be 1 by root 6 2 by root 6 and 1 by root 6 so we complete the table next step we are going to construct the normalized modal matrix from the table you see as we construct the modal matrix from eigen vectors similarly i am going to construct the normalized modal matrix from the normalized eigen vectors so my first column will be n1 second column n2 third column n3 write the normalized modal matrix now they are asking n transpose change either rows into columns or column into rows we'll be getting this step 6 this is the very important step we have to multiply n transpose a with n to find the diagonal matrix write the matrix n transpose into a into n now this is very important don't either use your calculator and don't go for the matrix multiplication both are time consuming and we know that my final answer it is going to come from my table see the table my first eigen value is minus 2 second one is 3 and third one is 6 we have to preserve this order therefore the matrix is going to be minus 2 3 6 all the remaining half diagonal elements are 0 suppose in your exams you are making the table like this first eigen value is 6 second eigen value is minus 2 third eigen value is 3 then you have to rewrite the matrix accordingly right 6 minus 2 3 0 0 0 now since my order is minus 2 3 6 i am writing the corresponding diagonal matrix so step 6 gets over next the final step we have to reduce the quadratic form into canonical form now we have to reduce the matrix a to a diagonal form by orthogonal transformation what is orthogonal transformation we assumed x and x is equal to n y where n is the normalized modal matrix and we are going to assume y y let us consider as a vector y1 y2 y3 so the quadratic form is going to be qf x transpose ax and we know the relation by orthogonal transformation x equal to n y so i am going to substitute n y whole transpose a into n y we know that a b whole transpose is equal to b transpose a transpose property so we will be getting y transpose n transpose a n into y and we know that n transpose a n is nothing but my diagonal matrix d that we found in step 6 so this is going to be my canonical form so now we know that y transpose and y multiply y transpose with the diagonal matrix d and y and you don't want to multiply just see the eigen values the eigen value is minus 2 so write minus 2 y1 square 3 y2 square 6 y3 square that's it this is my canonical form students so seven steps you can easily do one by one remember all the tricks and you can crack the problem easily next you can do some practice problem which is appear on the screen the problem 1 2 3 you will be getting distinct eigen values all the eigen values are different similarly you can try problem 4 5 and 6 whose eigen values are repeated if you practice this you will become an expert you are ready for your exams so good luck for your exams do well subscribe our channel share to your friends let everyone get benefited we'll see in the next video thank you